guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my decorate with me videos I will have part one linked down below for you guys in case you missed it but today we're going to be focusing more on the upstairs area of the house we're going to decorate the living room upstairs as well as the kids room so let's get started So Brandon just installed these floating shelves on each side of the TV and I really love how it looks. So I'm going to take this time to decorate the shelving really quick. I kind of have an idea of what decor I want to use. So I'm going to quickly do this. Then we're going to rewind back and decorate upstairs. Here's an overview of the living room and the shelving. I love the decor. I try to keep it as simple as possible so it's not so distracting when you're watching something on TV. Um, I'll probably play around with the decor a little bit more so it might look a little different in other videos, but we'll see. We're winding back one or two days before we put the shelving up in the living room. I'm gonna make my way upstairs by fluffing the garland and adding lights. So we found these micro lights at Hobby Lobby and we decided to go with the battery operated ones just because we didn't want to deal with any extension cords going up the steps. Also, I love the micro lights because they're so much easier to hide in your garland and they provide the perfect amount of light. So we have the secondary living area upstairs where the kids love to hang out and play games, watch movies. Even my husband will come up here and watch some sports sometimes. So I definitely want to make it a little bit more cozy. So I'm going to add this tree that I got from Walmart years ago. And then I'm going to decorate the shelving around the TV. So I laid out all the ornaments just to see what I have. This is the color scheme, more of like a woodland theme, I guess. So I'm sticking with the tans and creams and I got some little animals to go in there. So we'll see how it turns out.
decided to take that Mary sign down and replace it with these wooden skis just because I feel like this is a little bit more woodland. So this tree didn't take me long at all which is really nice so I'm going to pick up from the ornaments, clean up a little bit because I'm going to take out the decor so I can start decorating the shelving. So I went through my stuff just to pick and choose what I wanted to go up here trying to stick with the same color scheme as the Christmas tree. So this is what I ended up bringing upstairs and so far the colors are pretty much the same as the tree. I'm going to freestyle the shelving around the TV and as for the couch I'm probably going to get rid of a couple of pillows and replace it with a new pillow that I got from Hobby Lobby and a blanket. So I knew I wanted some garland to go right here under the TV, so I'm going to start with that. This middle section where the TV is sitting on actually is supposed to be pushed all the way back, and that'll be pushed back later on tonight, but I'm going to decorate it anyway, just so I have a feel of what I want to do. So this room has a lot of random things going on. Um, just from moving in the house, we really haven't focused a lot on this room yet. Um, we do have a console table that's gonna be going directly behind the couch, and I am gonna decorate that with Christmas decor, but that'll be in a different video. So I decided to put the green blanket into this basket just for an extra blanket and I put a red one on the couch to match the pillow. Moving on to the kids room, I'm going to start by removing their table and chairs and I'm going to put it in their playroom just for Christmas time so we'll have space for their Christmas tree and I'm also going to move their little art cart. So the tree I'm using in their room is so cute, but it's old. The flocking is slowly disappearing, and it's just not as full as I want it to be. So I think after Christmas, I'm going to be keeping my eye out on the sales to see if I can find a tree that is pretty much the same size, but just a little bit more fluffy. So you guys know that I love to decorate with neutral tones for Christmas. It just matches my everyday decor, which I really love, but that does not apply to my kids' tree. I let them go all out. They can have a whimsical tree. They can usually just choose what they want their tree to look like. So this year they chose a candy cane theme for their tree. So we went to Hobby Lobby and picked out a couple of really fun ornaments. So as always, I lay everything out so I'm not all over the place. I just stuck to red and white. I got some lollipops, candy canes, some deco mesh.
working with a tree like this is really tricky, especially if you have an idea in your mind and you want it to look a certain way, but you can't because there's so much space. It's not a full tree. So it took me a while to figure out how to get the mesh to look right. So what I'm gonna do is focus more on the center of the tree just to fill in all of that dead space. So here's what their tree ended up looking like. I love it. It reminds me of something out of the Grinch. It's so cheerful and festive. I love walking into their room seeing it and the most important thing is that they love it and that they help decorate it. So now I'm going to add some new blankets to their bed. I'm going to take the ones they have off and store those away after I wash them keeping the sheets on because those are already clean and I'm gonna add these little throw blankets I think these are adorable I love this print for a boys room got these from Walmart I think they were like $15 a piece Guys, look how cute it turned out when the kids walked in they were so surprised they're so happy with it especially at night when they get to turn their lights on and their little tree they just love it so that is gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed it leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one bye guys